Dear Marys and Marthas, we need you. If you are a Mary, go get you some Marthas in your life. If you are a Martha, make sure you have some Marys in your space. If we don't learn to be like Mary first, that is learn to sit first with Jesus, we will be found like Martha, distracted by a lot of things instead of the one thing necessary. Jesus tells us that we are to seek God first, his kingdom and his righteousness. Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. Not do first or serve first or plan first or prepare first. In order to do all that God has called us to, we are called to first be with him, to be intimate with him. Pursuing anything outside of true intimacy with God and making other things instead of him a priority will lead to all that we see Martha experiencing and more. We too may have started out with the right heart posture and desire for intimacy with him by inviting him in. However, if we aren't careful because we don't stay close to him or take the time to sit and commune with him, our proximity to him begins to shift, which opens the door for other things to quickly fill in that space and thus begin to slowly pull us away from him. We begin to allow our gifts of serving and the other gifts God has given and graced us to do, grace gifts, to become a distraction. These distractions can open the doorway to discontentment with ourselves, others, and even our relationship with Christ. We can become disgruntled and frustrated with those we feel should be helping us carry a load simply because they have their priorities in order and we may not. We start looking elsewhere, frustrated with the fact that we are so overwhelmed with things we may be doing that perhaps God never called us to do in the first place. These extra or unnecessary things we have added to our plate have us bogged down and can lead to anxiety, worry, and upset. We begin looking for relief and seeking out help from ones we feel should be helping us and blaming them when they aren't, instead of asking Jesus for help. Friend, can I tell you today that to pursue the one thing necessary, to choose the good portion, Jesus is and always has been the best thing? Learn to sit first so you can serve best and in every capacity he has called you to serve. Allow him to pour into you so that as you step out into the day-to-day task, you can continue walking in your purpose and fulfilling God's call on your life. Allow him to pour into you so that you are operating from the grace and overflow he gives. When you make him the priority, everything else will be added unto you. Peace, which is our portion, is the fruit and reward for choosing the one thing not worry, overwhelm, or anxiety. Intimacy begins and ends with Jesus. He is the one thing, and he is more than enough. In expectation, Charlene.